This is a surgical mask. And this is a cloth mask. You probably see a lot of people out there wearing any one of these two masks. These two, on the other hand, these are N95 masks. For healthcare professionals on the front lines of the coronavirus pandemic, masks like this, called an N95, are essential equipment. Right, so the N95 masks are fitted so that they're sealed around, and they actually do a special test where they put a bag over your head once you've got it fitted, and they put chemicals in there for you to smell. So if you can't smell the chemicals, then the mask is sealed and it's proper. So that will stop 95% of the viral particles. Very important for people that are right close to patients, for example, that have uh, uh, COVID-19, because there's a lot of viral particles that are sitting there. They're designed to block 95% of airborne particles and droplets that can carry the coronavirus. But the N95 is crucial for people that are looking after patients that have COVID-19. In a COVID-19 world, N95 mask production is viewed as essential protection against a viral enemy. And so what we know is that the N95 mask is the most effective against the coronavirus. And therefore, this mask alone has not only been protecting, but also been saving the lives of millions and millions of people right now during the current COVID-19 pandemic. So currently, there is actually extreme shortage of these N95 masks. So much so that an important innovator of these masks, named Dr. Peter Sai, came out of retirement in order to help solve this problem. We did not uh, expect uh, this uh, N95 uh, respirator be used so, for so many people. In the early 90s, researcher and engineer Peter Sai invented the material that makes the mask work. In which it is uh, it's all static charging of the media. The N95's physical pores are bigger than particles like the coronavirus, but Sai's invention changed things. He figured out how to add static electricity to the material, which attracts the particles and stops them from going through. In this way, the filtration efficiency is 10 times improved than the uncharged media. I have more work to do Companies have asked him how to retrofit assembly lines to make more masks, and he's studying how to safely sterilize masks so they still work if doctors and nurses have to use them more than once. I have uh, 10 times work than I used to, I, I used to do. The inventor, whose mask keeps doctors safe, finds himself busy once again right here at UT. Isn't it so cool how Dr. Peter Sai brought in new technology to help innovate these masks and even now is working so hard to come up with new ways to develop more and more masks. Mm -hmm. But this video is actually about a man who came up with the initial designs of the N95 mask and actually created it back in 1910. Chances are you have never heard of him. His name is Dr. Wu Lian Te and he's a Malaysian who was born in Penang. Being a Malaysian, when I first read this story, I was actually blown away. This man not only created a mask that, that saved millions and millions of people, but also led the scientific effort to fight against a deadly, deadly plague that affected Mancuria, which is in Northeast Asia. This plague actually killed 60,000 people. That plague was so bad that it actually killed 100% of people that were infected. As soon as you have any symptoms, you will die within 24 to 48 hours. But Dr. Wu Liente single-handedly stopped the plague successfully. And therefore, till today, he's known as the plague fighter. So during this time, uh, doctors thought that the plague was spread through rats and through fleas, but Dr. Wu himself was determined that it was spread through the air. And based off this, he initiated a quarantine, which is similar to uh, Malaysia's MCO, Movement Control Order, or America's SIP shelter in place, as well as requested that all the buildings become disinfected. Mm -hmm. And so the crucial breakthrough happened when Dr. Wu developed a face mask to help filter the air. This is the original version 
of the N95 mask that we know today. So many doctors actually doubted this mask. And uh, according to the National Library of Medicine paper, a French doctor named Gerald Mesny actually humiliates Dr. Wu saying that his mask is not effective. He even went on to say that, what can we expect from a Chinaman? He then goes on and try to prove Dr. Wu wrong by refusing to wear his mask while visiting some of the sick patients. Guess what happens? Gerald Mesny contracts the disease from some of the patients and dies within two days. So, by March of 1911, the Mancurian Plague was completely stopped. No further infections were reported. Dr. Wu actually went on to help stop a reoccurring plague in 1921. He truly deserves the title Plague Fighter. He was also the very first Malaysian to be nominated for a Nobel Prize. If you've asked your friends, do you know who created the first N95 mask? I'm pretty sure many of them will not know who it is. But even after a century of creating the first N95 mask, Dr. Wu Lian's invention is still protecting millions and millions of people today during our current COVID-19 pandemic. I am so proud of my Malaysian countryman for this. Not a lot of people know his story, so please share this video with somebody. Let's make Dr. Wu Lian Tay's name famous so that many people can recognize and honor his work. And not forget, this will also be able to put Malaysia on the map. Thank you everyone. Stay safe and take care of yourselves. Bye. Bye.